Alrighty, so we're here at the Ride Entertainment booth and we have a special guest, Andy, here, who is with KCL Engineering. And you may know them because of, say, Hang Time, which might be a little neat ride at Knott's Berry Farm. And you did something really kind of unique with that. You actually did the lighting package on it. Can you tell me about it? Yes, uh, so I'm Andy Versalis. I'm an electrical engineer and lighting designer. And we uh, had the pleasure of working on Hang Time earlier this year. Uh, hang time is uh, unique in that they're able to change the lighting uh, every season of the year. So whether you're coming in the summer or visiting in the fall, uh, you can see a unique uh, lighting package um, that will change and they can even set it with music. And of course you can see literally the full spectrum of the color wheel, I'm assuming. It doesn't matter, it's not like 24 set colors, it's literally the full color wheel, correct? Right, right. So uh, we have uh, RGB floodlights mounted all along the track and also mounted on the ground uh, shining up at the structure. So we're able to produce any color. Um, realistically, uh, depending on the paint of the track, only about maybe 20 or 30 colors look, look good. So we, we do a lot of testing to make sure that uh, the colors we select and the shows that we program are going to look great for the park. Good. That's actually something I was wondering about because I, I thought it was, oh, they send out 80 colors or something like that. But obviously you guys have done your R&D to try to see, all right, the car, uh, park wants to put in a red coaster. What colors are going to work well with that? Uh, I do like the fact that you said you can do, say, like holiday things. So if it, it's not a set thing, guys. you got to think they can literally go in with the button, which I'm sure you could, and literally be like, we're changing it up. We're going to do a different style. So uh, when it comes to the engineering, tell me about some of that process, if you don't mind, for the whole putting the lighting package together? Sure, um, so we work with the park very early on to determine uh, what the ride is and what types of effects they want on the ride. So for Knott's, um, they came with, to us early on and said that they wanted specific seasonal effects. So we programmed a touchpad with uh, buttons so that uh, the, per the operator can very quickly and easily uh, select a Halloween show or Fourth of July show or just reset it back to the default pre-programmed shows that we, that we wrote initially. Um, so what those, what those seasonal buttons will do is change up the entire uh, lighting, lighting effect where uh, the chase lights will be different colors, the effects running in between uh, cars while they're loading will be different effects. Um, so we, we've done a lot of work figuring out what, what we like to see and it's a lot of time spent in the park just uh, playing with the lighting controller and taking video and getting feedback. And the kind of funny thing is, I'm a night owl, and the only way to really do this, I figure, is you got to be there late. So, I mean, literally from sundown all the way until when morning rises with the sun again, that's probably when you're there, right? Yeah, so uh, for knots, I would arrive at the park at, at a nine, 9 at night, and I wouldn't leave until 2 or 3 in the morning uh, while we were out there programming. So, uh, it was some late nights, and we'd, we'd sleep late the next day, but it was a lot of fun, and uh, we ended up uh, getting a really good product. Absolutely. I think the product is phenomenal. I have not had a chance to physically go out there. I do have the intentions on going out there and seeing it physically. I love doing night photography, so I'm really excited in that. The other thing that I wanted to bring up is you're not just known for hang time. You did another project before this that people I want people to know about, Monster. You guys did that, of course, as well. Uh, can you tell me about your involvement with that project as well? Of course. Uh, yeah, Monster was our entry into the amusement park world. Uh, KCL Engineering is traditionally... Um, uh, me mechanical and electrical engineering company. We design systems for buildings and we work with architects. Um, I, I work on a lot of schools, uh, elementary schools and middle schools. Um, so to work on a lighting package for a roller coaster was very exciting for us and it's, it, it ends up being the favorite, the favorite thing that I get to work on every year. Um, in working with Adventureland, we approached them and uh, we showed them some of the uh, specialty lighting we had done in the uh, Des Moines, Iowa area, and uh, they they were on board to let us try something new for their roller coaster. Um, w it had never been done with uh, flood floodlights mounted on a roller coaster track, and uh, we ended up uh, spending a lot of time researching and developing that product, um, which led us to the two roller coasters we opened this year, which were uh, Adrenaline Peak in Portland, Oregon, and then Hang Time. Awesome. Now, another thing to consider is you could do special events as well. So we're talking holidays, but say if I had a gender reveal or something like that, you could do that as well, right? So you could have where like flashes blue, pink, all that stuff, and then fine. So they can do some really neat programmable stuff. Uh, Andy, I got to say, you've got really phenomenal products, and I'm excited to see hopefully more installed on more roller coasters. We cover the rides. Again, I love seeing night rides and hang time as we can see with the video right behind you it looks phenomenal so hopefully i can see that again so thank you for your time man uh, we can actually 
I can actually talk about uh, our 20, 2019 project, if you'd like. Oh, all right, so we're getting the scoop now. We have 2019 coming up. So it's been, uh, we've been able to announce it last week. Um, we can talk about it finally. We've, it's been in development for a year now. We are involved in the American Dream uh, Gerschlauer launch coaster um, that's going to be opening in spring of next year uh, in New Jersey. Uh, you're not excited for that in the least, right? <laughs> not in the least. That is a massive project, guys. I mean, we're talking a massive roller coaster in there. And if it's going to be anything like what I'm seeing over there, uh, I can't wait to see that thing. And yes. a lot of the guests, uh, I assume with that attraction, I don't know too much. Can you physically walk next to it like you did with Hang Time? Like you can get pretty close to the attraction? Yep, you'll, you'll be able to get close. Uh, you'll have the, the spinning coaster uh, running in, in and out of the, of, the, of the lit launch coaster track. Um, so that'll be a great uh, effect for whether you're on the launch coaster or the spinning coaster or if you're on, on off the ride watching. Um, and the neat thing about this that I'm excited about is you'll be able to see the lights uh, any time of the day. Um, with uh, the previous outdoor installations we've done, we can only see the lights at nighttime, but now we're going to be able to enjoy it uh, much more. I think having that world stage, you're going to have the ability to literally have all eyes on the product that you can do. So it gives you the opportunity instead of saying, hey, I need you to show up at the park at 6 p.m. so that you can see my product. Well, now somebody can go physically to there and check out your product. So again, Andy from KCL Engineering, thank you so much for speaking with us. Yeah, Exciting you. stuff. Yeah, I appreciate you uh, featuring us. Thanks. So um, we brought some technology. We brought some technology with us to IAPA to uh, show to potential customers and uh, ride manufacturers um, just to help them understand our process. Um, before when we were explaining what the system can do, um, it can do anything, but saying that to somebody, it, you kind of have to show them uh, specific examples of what's possible and then uh, that gets the, their creativity and gets them thinking about what they want to use the system for. So uh, this, these are just clips that, that I took uh, while we were testing uh, different rainbow effects on the on the coaster, different uh, traveling. Uh, since it's hang time, we wanted to have a wave effect where it, the water level appears to be going up and down on the ride. Um, so just a uh, part of the long long nights and many hours we put into to figuring out what what would look good and what would work well. The chasing effect is um, KCL's signature signature effect, I guess. Uh, we started with uh, Monster, and that got us a lot of attention. And it's it's one of the more difficult things that we do because we have to time it with the the ride, and the ride can go faster or slower depending on how much weight there is or what the temperature is. So uh, on hang time, we uh, we learned that we would like a mid ride sensor that as the car travels over it. Um, the lighting controller will know and adjust the chase to uh, either catch up to the car or to slow down and, and uh, let the car go past it again. Part of what we do at KCL is uh, we, we design a lot of lighting systems for not only amusement attractions but for buildings and, and so we have a lot of modeling software and experience at our disposal. So um, this is a computer model that we put together before the ride even started being constructed. Um, so that we were able to start coming up with effects and showing the park exactly what we um, were thinking were thinking of doing. So this so we can spin around it, and uh, I can choose different effects that we wow. that we wrote. So this is a wow. kind of like a filling up effect as as you go up and down. Uh, that's awesome. I'm sorry, I'm geeking out. <laughs> well, that's why we brought it because uh, this is one of the one of the favorite views in the park where you can get a shot of both loops at the same time with the tower in the background. Um, so yeah, pretty early on we knew that this type of lighting would, would look very good on the product and, and these tools helped us to position and aim the lights to make sure that we have a, a good coverage of the whole of the whole system. And you're giving your clients the ability to physically see what they're going to get before it's actually built. So that's massively, it's going to help you guys, it's going to help them out and I really think that's neat. Yeah, so like I said, telling somebody it's capable of everything, um, we're, we've learned that dialing that back a little bit and, and saying it's capable of this and this and this, giving, giving clear examples, um, it was helpful for, for getting the capabilities across. The systems that we install are, are open source and they're, we don't use any proprietary lighting controls. We use just regular DMX protocol. So uh, that gives parks the capability to plug in their own lighting controller um, if they have someone on staff that is good at designing those shows for stages or for or for bands or for live shows, um, so this video on on is exa an example of not uh, 
staff creating their own show for Halloween. Knott's chose to run Power Man 5000, and then they also had a a show written for uh, Rob Zombie's Dragula. So th this was not uh, a show that I programmed, but um, I am definitely capable of, of providing this for uh, another another park, or potentially we'll work with American Dream to come up with some some musical effects. The way we see it, it Disney has their fireworks show at the end of the night that people stay in the park for. Uh, KCL Engineering can provide a uh, lighting show similar to that where um, it'll be reusable fireworks that, that keep guests in the park later. All right, so I thought I was done. Apparently not. Andy has more surprises for us. Uh, Andy, what do we have behind us over here? Uh, so I wanted to bring a physical lighting controller just to, again, uh, just present to, to potential customers uh, what they get when they, when they work with us. So uh, we brought a lighting controller with a couple scenes we can select from and uh, a color picker. So I can adjust the booth lights above me. Um, with the buttons on this station. And I'm seeing on here Rainbow Fade, Fiesta, there's a winner, there's a spooky, yeah, so waves, all sorts of stuff. This is very similar to what we provided to Hang Time. Um, I even left the seasonal controls in there so that uh, we can understand you know, how easy it is to just select springtime and let the lights change for springtime. But yeah, so if, if you do not want uh, the preset effects and you want to just set something up temporarily, uh, we can provide preset scenes. Uh, if you want to just pick a color yourself, we have a, a color color selection, uh, so we can just turn everything red uh, if we want. Hold on, let me get it red. <laughs> Would you stop blowing my mind, please? I mean, this is awesome. I really think that's kind of neat. Oh, thank you. And they could have that up in the panel. So if say an operator is like, you know what, I'm feeling blue right now. Let's throw blue up there. They sure, could. Yeah. That is cool stuff. So again, kind of neat that you had this here and all the models. I know I said thank you, but thank you again, Andy. Oh, this welcome. has been awesome. <laughs>